I am Ernestine Shepard. That woman with the toned and healthy body you see is Ernestine Shepard. Look at her washboard abs and impressive biceps. She is the world's oldest female bodybuilder. How old do you think she is? Some people would think that she is middle-aged, but she's not. She is 87 years old. It's hard to believe, right? But it is true. And it's not natural that she can maintain such a wonderful body. So do you know the secret that helps an 87-year-old woman maintain her body like she was in her 30s? Let's find out. Incredibly early wake-up time. 2.30 a.m. is the time when almost all of us are falling into a deep sleep. But at that moment, Ernestine Shepard woke up and started a new day. She embarks upon a 10-mile walk and then heads to the gym at 7.30 a.m., where she continues to work out and lead exercise classes until 11.30 a.m. Of my devotions, I walk and I run approximately 10 miles. I'm at the gym at 7.30 and I have a group of ladies that I train. After I have my devotions, a group of ladies that I train. Actually, you don't have to wake up at 2.30, but waking up early is good for your health. People who wake up early have more time to exercise, to eat a proper breakfast, to get ready, to commute. They avoid waking up and immediately feeling stressed. It's good for mental health. Morning people who wake up early also enjoy a lowered risk of depression and schizophrenia. But the point is, do exercise. Even Botox injections or cosmetic procedures are not as good as natural beauty. Exercise has an overall revitalizing effect. As Ernestine advised, once you have visited a doctor to check you are healthy, she has advised starting with small steps. The first thing, the easiest thing to do is to get out and start walking. It doesn't cost you anything. All you have to do is put your clothes on and go out and walk, and make certain you do about half an hour when you first start out, and then later on, take it further. If your doctor says yes, then start with a walking program because it is very good for you. Don't try to do 10 miles when you first start, take it slowly. Then go to a gym, start lifting light weights, and have someone around who knows about fitness who can guide you along safely so you don't get injured. A strict diet. Tip number two, she lives off a calorie controlled diet of boiled egg whites, chicken, vegetables, and plenty of water. In addition to her exhausting sounding fitness routine, Ernie eats five to six small meals a day. These often include oatmeal, a handful of walnuts and crushed pineapple for breakfast, a baked white potato, chicken and asparagus as one of her lunches, followed by brown rice, turkey and string beans, and then sweet potato, tuna and spinach. These meals are also interspersed with eight ounce glasses of liquid egg whites. Eggs contain a lot of protein, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that our bodies need. Egg whites are the white part of the egg. They contain about 60% water and 40% protein. Protein helps your body build muscle and recover from workouts. And if you're looking to add some lean muscle to your frame, besides protein shakes, eggs are a great way to do it. You know eating eggs daily can increase your muscle mass in just 12 weeks. Eggs have around 8 grams of protein per egg. This is about 20% higher than beef, chicken, pork, fish, lamb, and even tofu. Eggs contain all 9 essential amino acids that your body cannot produce on its own. They also contain choline, vitamin B12, biotin, zinc, iron, copper, selenium, and lutein. Lutein is a carotenoid that helps protect against age-related macular degeneration. Funny story, she said, when you call my phone, you hear Sylvester Stallone's music because I was inspired by his movie, and how he had to get his life back together, and how he drank the egg whites, and I drink egg whites now because of Rocky. Oh, one more important thing, you need and must drink lots of water. 
Ernie aims for around eight glasses per day. Depending on your body's needs, drinking enough water is really good for your body. Never too late to start. Looking at Ernestine, you would guess that she had to start exercising very early, right? She was born in 1936. She didn't start exercising until she was 56. I had never done any type of exercising before. I had never done any type of exercising before. So how did a 56-year-old woman, someone who loved chocolate cake and all kinds of junk food, step into the challenging world of health, fitness, and competitive bodybuilding? Surprisingly, it all began with a moment many of us can relate to, worrying about wearing a swimsuit. Unhappy with their figures, Ernie and her sister Velvet decided to head to the gym to regain their shapes. Although they noticed an immediate transformation, Ernie wasn't immediately enthusiastic. The myth was that if women lifted weights, they would end up looking like men, so I didn't want to do it. It was her sister who delved deeper into the world of competitive sports and fitness, eventually entering competitions and motivational speaking. Despite being initially put off by this, Ernie later joined forces with her sister, and the two of them worked out together. These are the fond memories that Ernie cherishes. Unfortunately, Velvet later fell ill and suffered a brain aneurysm. Before her passing, she made Ernie promise to uphold the two commitments they had undertaken together, to continue motivating others and to secure a place in the Guinness World Records. Ernie experienced depression and panic attacks following her sister's death, but she quickly turned this into a determination to fulfill those promises. In 2010, Ernie was honored as the world's oldest female bodybuilder and traveled to Rome to receive her medal. In particular, Ernie always says she thanks God every day for her continued healthy life and claims that while the sheer intensity of her fitness regime may seem tough, she really does enjoy doing it. First of all, I get up every day, and before I go to bed, I pray and thank God for each day He has allowed me to live. Then I thank God for the fact I have remained happy. Some days I'm not happy, but some way or another, I get it together. I have learned to eat healthily. From my depression and panic attacks, I have learned that I need to get out and walk every day to keep myself together. Then, being around people and loving them has helped me. So what's the other secret to her success? She never gives up. I don't let anything get in the way. Discipline, determination, and good old-fashioned hard work. And my mantra is determined, dedicated, disciplined to be fit. Ernestine Shepard's story reminds us that age is just a number. It's always possible to prioritize your health and fitness. Whether you're 30 or 65, you can achieve incredible results with dedication and the right lifestyle choices. Now it's your turn. Share your fitness goals and stories with us in the comments below. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.